Oliver is the world's top mathematician, and he is on The Bachelor looking for love to match his math skills. While some guys like girls with frills, he likes girls with skills. Though the girls started on the competition to win the love of Oliver. At this point in the show, only three girls remain vying for the love of this math wizard. Each of the girls is working to pass a B calculus so that she can enter into it the world fully prepared. They are hoping to find love and math help all in one competition. Only one girl can win the heart of Oliver and pass the AP exam. Good morning, ladies. Yesterday was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Sadly, it is only going to get more difficult from here. I was told that some of y'all were up to one o'clock working on the past assignment. Does it really take two hours to finish it? Sometimes it takes a whole day. We were lucky, in my opinion. We were sad to see some of the other girls grow, but only those who were determined to receive the AP calculus and those kind of Despite what the other girls think, I am the only one capable of receiving the roads. <laughs> I have remembered the most important things from the pre cal so that I could succeed. They all thought they could get away with not remembering, you know, the unit circle, parent graphs, and all the geometry formulas and theorems. Ha! <laughs> they couldn't. <laughs> it came back to bite them. Well, well, that's too bad. But now I have the date cards for this week. You all are heading on a group date, Jack. Uh. Go. Welcome contestants to the UNC Chapel Hill. To test your mathematical abilities in connection with Oliver, you will compete in a competition. All three of y'all will race to solve a derivative and the first girl who finishes and reaches Oliver gets his help on the second problem. The first girl to compete, complete both problems will win a one-on-one -on -one date with Oliver. Are you ready, girls? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! I know, I know how to solve this derivative. The slope of the tangent line is equal to the derivative of the function at the mark point. So this question is I can help you. <laughs> um, an integral is the area on the graph of a function, so you just need to take the antiderivative. formulas and the parent graphs from pre -cal. <laughs> Well, I don't really know anything since I failed to pay attention last year in pre -cal. I never really bothered to memorize my unit circle. I really <laughs> wish my math teacher had told me to memorize it last year. Oh well. That was really stupid. <laughs> Oliver, it's so beautiful here. See, um, what a work of engineering. I want to be a interest underwriter by taking my AP calculus class, but I didn't got very much. I love that you are pursuing your dream. You are so ambitious. Your hard work memorizing the sigma notation and the circle will definitely pay off. I bet you know what the sign of 2 pi is. It's square root 2 out of, uh, 2 over 2, right? No, you know nothing about calculus. Leave! Oh. Good morning, ladies. I know yesterday was pretty rough. I'm sure some of us are pretty sad to see Linda go away. But I have, a, but I have your day cards. 
Ooh, I hope I have a one-on-one. -on -one. I do! You have one too, my first. I'm gonna go get ready. Let's go. I'm so thankful of this time I get to spend with you today. Me too. You are really helping me accomplish my dream of becoming an earthquake safety engineer. I feel like we really connect. I'm going to show you something really close to my heart. This limit has been the foundation of my life. A limit of a function is the fun it is its value of forces as x approaches a. Okay. First, we need to plug in the x value, and we found out that it's zero over zero. So we need to factor this function. The upper side we got x minus two times x plus six over x times x minus two. Then we find out and put the limit there. Then we find out that x minus two can cancel out. So it's limit x approaches two x plus six over x. Now then we plug x value and we find out it's um, eight over two. So it's four. Wow, you're so smart. I feel fully prepared now to take the A, P, A, B calculus <laughs> exam. <laughs> Okay, so on this limit, if I plug in the value of infinity for x, I get infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form. Therefore, I must low patal it. So, I'm going to take the derivative of the top, which is still e to the x, over the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x. Okay, if I plug in infinity here, it still gives me an indeterminate form. So I must low patal it again. So then, I'm going to take the derivative of the top, which is still e to the x over 2. And then, we get, by plugging infinity in, we get infinity over 2. <laughs> and then, <laughs> infinity over 2 equals infinity. Smartest one here, and my intellect is beyond all comparison. You must choose me. I would most definitely pass the AP exam. We'll see. Here we go. Stop it. You failed it. You failed me. Leave, you must go now. <laughs> I'm ready. After the long hours of Mr. Scott's math homework, countless tears, and hours of frustration, I'm ready to take the AP AB calculus exam. Here's the exam. Make you proud. Wow, a perfect score. This was clearly meant to be. 